DHS chief says border closed, won't give timeline for facilities capable of handling surge of unaccompanied children. Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas declined Sunday to provide a timeline for when the Biden administration will open new facilities capable of handling the surge of unaccompanied children at the southern border. We established three new facilities last week. We are working on the system from beginning to end. We are working around the clock 24-7, Mayorkas told CNN's Dana Bash on State of the Union, when pressed on the administration's timeline for having new processing facilities up and running. We have dealt with surges in the past, and the men and women of Department of Homeland Security will succeed. The comments from Mayorkas, who insisted the southern border is currently closed to migrants, come as the situation there worsens amid a surge in unaccompanied children in U.S. custody. The Biden administration has resisted calling the situation a crisis, even as Democratic and Republican lawmakers do so as they pressure officials to rectify the growing issue. I have said repeatedly from the very outset that a border patrol station is no place for a child, and that is why we are working around the clock to move those children out of the border patrol facilities into the care and custody of the Department of Health and Human Services that shelters them, he said. There were, as of Saturday, more than 600 children who have been in custody for more than 10 days, documents show. Federal law requires unaccompanied children to be turned over within 72 hours to HHS, which oversees a shelter network designed to house minors, but amid constraints related to the pandemic, children are staying in custody for longer than the 72-hour limit. Oh, on average, children are staying in Border Patrol custody in jail-like facilities for an average of more than five days. This story is breaking and will be updated.